So far in this little trilogy, we've talked about abilities and exotic armor as well as weapon perk details. To finish up, the last topic I want to talk about is swapping. From best in slot picks and alternatives to surge distributions, this video will cover a fair spread of frequently asked questions that crop up in the comment section or in my discord DMs. Let's start with something I see pretty often from players first trying out using Izanagi's Burden. Double versus triple swapping. Now that bait and switch is the uncontested king when it comes to swap rotations, this debate isn't as relevant anymore, but I still want to give a concrete answer to this question. When you're swapping with Izanagi's Burden and a rocket, you have a choice to use a third weapon in your rotation to kill time until your Izanagi's lockout is over, like a rapid fire sniper, a grenade launcher, or a shotgun. During the start of Witch Queen, a lot of players used to do a rotation with just Izanagi's Burden and Palmyra B, so a valid question to ask is, how much of a difference does that third weapon make? Given how much damage rockets do, your third weapon, regardless of what it is, isn't going to make up more than 5% of your total damage. That being said, given that Bait and Switch requires 3 weapons, and the fact that Enhanced Reconstruction is now the Swap Rocket Reload perk of choice, having a third weapon to kill time with in order to pace your rocket shot more correctly is both convenient and more optimal than just waiting around for your rocket to reload or manually reloading it. Best Shotgun Swapping Archetype When it comes to shotguns, we have a few options. Rapids and Precision Pellets are out since the former literally shoots faster without swapping, and the latter has an absolutely awful damage profile. That leaves slugs, lightweights, and aggressives, with each having its own special requirement. For aggressives, a triple weapon reload option or holsters are practically necessary thanks to the small mag sizes. For lightweights, a boss has to be close enough that even hitting body shots will do full damage. And for slugs, the boss needs to be one where hitting crits isn't a problem. So how much DPS do each of these options do? Surprisingly, contrary to popular belief, lightweight shotgun swapping actually does more DPS than slug swapping, even if you only hit body shots. In order from highest to lowest DPS, lightweights are at around 131k, slugs are at 123k, aggressives are at 110k, and rapid fires sit at 102k when fired individually. This assumes that every shotgun involved has a 15% damage perk, like Frenzy or Vorpal, and also has optimal handling and dexterity mods in order to minimize swap time. In conclusion, if you want a shotgun swap, your best bet is usually going to be lightweights, with slugs being situationally better for bosses that need to be damaged from slightly further away due to stomping, or for situations where perk selection on the current field of lightweight shotguns becomes a limiting factor. Duality Swapping Viability I've mentioned this next bit to some of you in private, but duality is a legitimate option for slug DPS now that Solar Surge is all the rage in order to match Apex. A lot of you were asking about what to do without a good Sojourner's Tail roll, well, fear no more. Duality does an extra 10% per shot against a Frenzy Sojourner's even after accounting for boss spec. While duality doesn't have auto-loading holster, double slug rocket rotations are so rocket-oriented that its large mag size of 8 is more than enough to cover an entire damage phase, as can be seen in the duality slug apex rotation in my damage rotation spreadsheet. On top of this, if you have time before damage, getting a couple pellet kills actually gives duality a strong damage perk in the form of on black wings. This perk can last the entire phase given its refresh on precision hits instead of kills, and it scales all the way up to 55% at 5 kills, reaching 31% after just 2. Granted, this is only a valid substitute for double slug rocket rotations where you weren't using an exotic to begin with, but it's still a good thing to keep in mind. Best in slot swap GL Since I've sung the praises of the Izzy GL rocket rotation in my endgame DPS summary video, it's only fair that I answer this question. When it comes to swap GLs, there's really only two in contention, Empty Vessel and Wilderflight. While Empty Vessel has the advantage of matching the Apex Surge giving it a 22% edge, Wilderflight has a superior double fire frame which actually gives it a 31% damage boost per shot. Even with perfect rolls on both, Wilderflight is the clear winner, and if we ever get an insane Void Rocket for DPS, it won't even be close. Rocket Damage Without Pack Hunter I alluded to this in my Pack Hunter video, but some of you were asking if rockets are still a good idea on bosses where Galahorn is either not possible or a bad idea, like on Consecrated Mind. And the answer is yes. Rockets are still used plenty on those bosses, and specifically on Consecrated, the only thing that changes is a possible change in Surge distribution. Given that Izanagi's Burden and Golden Gun take a bigger chunk of the damage pie when there's no insane wolf pack chunking going on, which mathematically justifies a kinetic surge. Obviously, the absence of Pack Hunter is noticeable, but after the wolf pack chunking interaction change, the absence of Galahorn in a typical rotation like Izzy Slug Apex is actually only a 14% DPS loss. Rocket Spam Reload Options When it comes to spamming rockets, there's two values you should know. First, there are two rocket frames that are relevant for damage, aggressives and adaptives. They do the same damage per shot, but aggressives have worse overall stats with a faster fire rate. Specifically, aggressives fire at a max RPM of once every 1.083 seconds, while adapts fire every 1.166 seconds. What does this mean? While this does skew aggressives into having a slight advantage, the more important detail to keep in mind here is that rocket reload options should aim to keep the time between rockets as close to this max RPM as possible. 
Specifically, Marksman's Dodge takes 1.366 seconds between rockets to fire, while options like Reign of Fire, Reconstruction, Envious Assassin, and Whisper of Impetus take less time to load rockets than what is required to fire rockets at max RPM. As a special case worth mentioning, the Dragon's Shadow Animation Cancel method shoots 3 rockets in 2.383 seconds, approximately firing 3 at max RPM. Now, these are a lot of reload options, so it might not be simple to make sense of them. To keep things straightforward, Radiant Dance Machines, Threat of Ascent, and Reign of Fire are generally the best options for reloading rockets after setup perks like Reconstruction and Envious Assassin have been used up. Even though the Dragon's Shadow fires 3 rockets slightly faster than RDMs can fire 3, you can get 5 free reload dodges off a single multi-dodge proc with no refresh, allowing for 6 rockets with fast reloads. Of course, Threat of Ascent is a natural pick for Broodweaver as part of Warlock's best DPS subclass, and Reign of Fire makes sense for well users on weapons like Tractor or Galahorn. One final note, I've also been asked if manually reloading your rocket slowly in order to have reconstruction proc so that your rocket gets 2 in the mag is worth doing. Reconstruction reloads your rocket in 3.5 seconds after your last shot, and if you want to shoot 2 rockets, you are waiting an additional 1.166 seconds for the adaptive frame lockout. On the other hand, literally manually reloading your rocket takes 2 intervals of 2.233 seconds, which is faster than doing the silly reconstruction trick. And given our knowledge on how bad manually reloading a rocket is, it should come as no surprise that slowly manually reloading a reconstruction rocket and waiting for a 2 mag is undoubtedly DPS loss. Optimal Rocket Surge Distribution While it was previously common practice to use a 2-1 split between your rocket and kinetic surges based on the diminishing returns from 17-22% to from 2-3 to surges, today the optimal rocket rotation surge distribution is always 3 matching your rocket, unless you're not using galley and your rotation uses a lot of Izanagi's ammo. This is because rockets, as shown before, comprise over two-thirds of an average rocket rotation surge affected damage, even more if you're a hunter on RDMs. And that's the conclusion of this FAQ trilogy. I hope this video cleared up some of the most common questions when it comes to swap rotations in Destiny. If you have any questions about DPS or suggestions for items to be added to the FAQ tab of my spreadsheet, feel free to let me know either in the comments section or on Discord at the Aegis Relic. I hope everyone is enjoying the new season.